is a previous series of adventurers in Kazakhstan, I told how our trip began. I told why we decided to travel by freight trains and where the culture of such travel came from. I showed how we first made of our way into the wagons and the marshalling yard and how our first trip ended. The main thing is that the driver does not see us, otherwise he can stop the train until they take us off. But him, let's go faster, the train is picking up speed quickly. Know the fact that the driver will look in the mirror. I see a suitable wagon. Ok, let's take it. Not the fact that the driver will look in the mirror. The train is speeding up, get ready. Shall we take the blue wagon? Yes. We did it. Finally we left. I hope we will go far on this train. This wagon is bigger and cleaner than the one we traveled uh, in that night. So I hope uh, that this train will go far and long uh, and we will be able to travel in this train not only day but also night. Friends, now I will show you the beauty. We are now driving through a large starting station and I really hope that this time the train will not be delayed here. At night the train again stood for a long time at this next station and we already wanted to move to another, but we still waited for this train to go further. Our experience also plays a role. Instead of waiting here of several hours we could have jumped on another train a long time ago, instead we sat and waited for this one to go, but still they waited. The second night was much colder, with a cold wind coming through three layers of clothing and a sleeping bag, so we moved to the floor. And in the morning we again pulled the hammock and continued to doze off. But we did not enjoy the second of wells for long. Arriving at the next station, the standing there for some time, the train went in the opposite direction and we had to jump off. Again, we are unlucky. We drove at night to a big city, 
We fought while it was night, the train would stop and go on. In addition, we wanted to sleep and direction to wait to the morning. And in the morning the train went to the opposite direction. The stop was not planned, but since we got off, we decided to replenish our provisions and look for new trousers for me, since the one I took were not very successful and were torn on the first evening on the trains. Near the store, some grandfather surprised us with a question where the station was, and grandfather Lenin flaunted on the wall nearby in such an unusual oriental style. While we are moving towards the market, I will tell you a little about the city itself. Shymkent is the third largest city in Kazakhstan, with just over a million, and the first city in terms of area. One of the largest industrial, commercial and cultural centers. Shymkent is a very old city, it is 2200 years old, not every city can boast of such an age. Settlements in this area exist as early as the 4th century BC. For comparison, my hometown of Odessa is only 227 years old. There is definitely someone to see in Shymkent, but unfortunately we limited ourselves to just going to the nearest market. When I saw a camouflage clothing store on the market, I decided to buy myself new trousers and at the same time to replace a test shift, otherwise I didn't like this stripped one purely outwardly. We went to a cafe near the market, ate one of the local dishes, which included lamb, uh, baked potatoes and vegetables, and headed back. It done, now we need to move on. Our next stop is the city of Turkestan. Many locals advise to get there. They say that there is very old, beautiful architecture, and the city itself is ancient and beautiful. During the day at the station it will not work to get on the train, we are in the palm of our hand. I will now try to cross to the other side, find a secluded place and wait until a locomotive is picked up in our direction. Security both one, security both two and somewhere around here we will need to jump. In addition to this there are a lot of workers here, this is clearly not the best place and then the train can pick up speed. On the one hand, the idea to cross over to the other side was a good one. You can see us from here and it's easier to get on the train. On the other hand, nothing can be seen from here. 
we do not see which trains the locomotives are attached to, which ones arrive and how they live. Therefore, we decided to return to the railway station and look from there. When we see that the train is preparing to leave, we will go around it and try to get into the wagon. At the station the situation is such that, unlike previous station, trains leave here very rarely. We have been sitting here from two hours and during this time not a single train has left. Therefore we worked out uh, backup options in two and a half hours in the direction of Turkestan where we are uh, heading a regular trains will go. The price is very low. We will reach Turkestan in three hours. So if we don't manage uh, to hope on a train train soon, we will use a backup options. We waited another hour, nothing changed. Here is a locomotive. Perhaps wagons will be attached to it and it will go, but we don't know when it will be. And the probability that they will see us when we enter the wagon is too high. One thing in the evening or at night, another thing during the day. Therefore now we are going to buy tickets for a regular train, we will not hope that we'll be more lucky in the future. Two tickets to Turkestan, please. Hello, here is my ticket. Do you need documents? No. We have our shells, which is good news. For two days now I have had such Chinese noodles in my backpack. It's time to try it. I hope it tastes better than regular store bar. Unfortunately this noodle is the most common. I have been waiting for dry Chinese noodles for a long time, which are sold in such large buckets. There is meat and vegetables and sauce, it turns out a full-fledged dish. While we were sleeping, I tracked the map and we entered the territory of Kyrgyzstan and drove through the tunnel about 10 kilometers and only then drove back to Kazakhstan. That's it, in fact, we were in neighboring country. Illegal, just like that. Look, they're wild horses. As Vitalik told us, as soon as we drive a little inland, there will be a desert, and so it turns out. When I arrived in Kazakhstan and found out uh, that the population of this huge country, which is several times larger than Ukraine, is only 17 million people, I was very surprised, but looking out the window everything became clear. Yeah, yeah. Well, here we are in Turkestan. Now our task is to find inexpensive housing and tomorrow to explore the city. <laughs> Taxi drivers near the station always know everything. We were offered inexpensive accommodation near the station. 
we were told a price at 2000 tenge, but when we arrived the price turned out to be three times higher and we went to look for a hotel closer to the city center. We found a good options, not far from the main attractions and decided not to waste time searching anymore. For the first time in days I wanted to eat properly, drink beer and wash of the coal dust. <laughs> 